Hello everyone. Today, we'll dive into a selection of games that are not only fun, but also serve as excellent tools for developing your hacking skills. Each game we discuss offers unique opportunities to learn and apply different hacking techniques in safe, legal environments. First up, we have Hack the Box, a platform filled with hacking challenges and games that simulate real-world security scenarios. Not only does Hack the Box offer a variety of games specifically designed for hacking, but it also provides a range of reverse engineering challenges. These challenges are designed to test your skills against anti-debugging techniques, similar to anti-cheat systems and games, making it a perfect environment to refine both static and dynamic reverse engineering. Whether you're looking to tackle straightforward puzzles or complex systems requiring deep knowledge. Next up, we have Pound Adventure 3, an MMO specifically crafted for hacking practice using a flag-based system. This game is unique because it allows self-hosting, providing control over the server and enabling detailed server-client interactions. With clear objectives and intentional vulnerabilities, ranging from simple client-side flags to complex tasks requiring network protocol reversal, Pound Adventure 3 offers a structured environment for practicing and mastering various hacking techniques. Additionally, community write-ups are available if you get stuck, making this game an excellent resource for learning how to exploit vulnerabilities in a multiplayer setting. Moving on to Assault Queue, this game is not only open source and backed by a vibrant hacking community, but it's also widely regarded as the starting ground for many beginners in game hacking. The simplicity of its game mechanics, combined with the open source accessibility, allows new hackers to practice and understand hacking techniques in practical environments. The community is very supportive as well, showing tutorials, mods, and hacks that make it an ideal place for newcomers to start. Additionally, the community has developed extensive guides on how to create hacks for virtually anything within the game. Whether you're looking to tweak gameplay mechanics or add new functionalities, these guides provide step-by-step -step instructions that help demystify the process and foster a deeper understanding of game hacking. Lastly, we have Cube 2 Sour Brighton, which like a saw cube, is another open source that provides a fantastic platform for those looking to step up their game hacking skills. Often considered the classic next step after mastering a solid cube, Cube 2 offers a more complex and challenging environment. Its open source framework not only allows for deeper modifications and a more intricate understanding of game mechanics, but also presents more sophisticated challenges that are perfect for those who have honed their initial skills in a solid cube. With its active community and more advanced gameplay elements, Cube 2 is ideal for hackers looking to push their abilities further. Each of these games offers unique challenges and opportunities to develop your hacking skills in different ways. From the structured environments of Hack the Box and Pound Adventure 3 to the community-driven platforms of Assault Cube and Cube 2, there's a rich variety of experiences to help you master the art of game hacking. Successfully navigating the hacking techniques required for these games will equip you with a solid foundation. If you can tackle the diverse challenges presented by each game, you'll be well prepared to advance your skills further and start learning about anti-cheat technologies. Each step in these games builds toward understanding and overcoming more complex security measures, setting you up for continued growth in the field of game hacking. Also, don't forget to like and comment below with your experiences or any games you think are great for hacking practice. Stay tuned for more tips and insights on becoming a skilled game hacker. Good luck.